picks does not guarantee the numbers shown on this channel will result in lottery wins. Individuals who play the numbers shown on this channel understand there are no guaranteed results and do so at their own risk. Hi guys, welcome to Chloe Picks and I'm back with another video. Just like I said guys, I'm making a follow up video to the one I did yesterday for California Evening Draw Tic-Tac-Toe Method. So if you're watching this video and you didn't watch part one from yesterday, then stop this video, save it to your watch later playlist and go watch part one. Because if you don't, you won't know what I'm talking about. Now for those of you that have watched my first video, I wanna share you the update from the results of yesterday's evening draw winning number. So for my first video, I don't believe that I made clear what I was trying to accomplish here. Basically, I'm trying to use the tic-tac-toe grid and predict the next day's number. But I do not want to have to use any flip numbers or mirror numbers. So now with my California example, this method has worked the last few days, but I want to see if this tic-tac-toe method works for the next day. So November 1st, I did put in 025, that's the winning Wednesday number, in that grid. And I want to see for November 2nd, Thursday, would that number show up in that grid? So 648 fell Thursday evening in California draw. And if you look at the November 1st tic-tac-toe grid, you do not see 648. So it was not clear that this number was going to fall. So it did not work this time. But one thing you can take away from this grid is if you were already playing 648. This is the only way I could see you hitting that number. You were already playing 648. You went to this grid, you see 643. So if you mirror that three, that becomes an eight. So that's where you would get the 648. But of course, if you're not already playing that number, you will not see that in this grid. And I'm trying to avoid having to mirror and flip numbers. I wanna see, those exact numbers in the grid. So now I'm going to test November 2nd. So to, on Thursday, we have a 648 that's in the grid, 648, and the zero I put in there for the fourth number. Now we're gonna count in order. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's how I complete the grid. So what I'm gonna be looking for is November 3rd's number, which is Friday today, to see if any of those numbers fall in the pick three evening draw for California. Just wanna test one more day and see if it got back on track of winning and looking at the tic-tac-toe grid. Guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. I will do a few more states because I really want to test this method. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, good luck and thank you for watching.